Deanna Bencomo wants parents to know the warning signs. My son took his life on August 4th. Her 17-year-old son, Rudy, had been in counseling and group therapy for depression, but he never came home after leaving for high school that day. To me, it's gone a lot harder. Um, the longer it goes that my son's not here, it's, it's hard. Rudy is now one of five Queen Creek High School students who have taken their life since July and is among 20 East Valley students who made the same choice this school year. When you hear of another student taking their life and another parent has to join your group of parents that lost their child, um, it sets you back. Mental health expert Katie McPherson says she sees a similar pattern with teens dealing with depression. Problems all coming back to two things. Sleep is the number one factor and tied to that is social media impact. She says the constant comparison to others on social media has led to a lack of coping skills among teens. And Rudy's friend and classmate Justin Palma has struggled with suicidal thoughts too. I haven't like self-harmed in like six months because I went to like counseling and stuff. Queen Creek Unified says their counselors will be screening all high school students for mental health by this April. But Rudy's friends say it's going to take more to create change and hope students will speak up. If they reach out, they can like potentially save their own life.